looking at my new pedal board in its early stage of development. It's Pedal Train 3. Um, I just bought and currently trying to work out where my pedals are all going to go and even which ones are going on there. Sadly, Metal Muff has lost his place on the board. Um, I don't actually use him that much anyway, so he's um, he won't be missed. Poor guy. Um, what I might do, or what I can do when I'm on a gig where I do need something a bit more metally, is I can switch out the germanium 4 big muff and put the metal muff back in there. It's kind of a noisy pedal, the metal muff. It does need a noise gate, really. So, if I were to do that kind of gig, I guess you tend not to lose tremolos on these metally type things, so maybe I could lose this guy for a noise gate and lose this guy for the metal muff and that would all be cool. Um, there's a bunch of stuff in here that I sort of feel I can't do without. There's a wah, it's just the standard Jim Dunlop wah. Germanium 4 Big Muff Pie, as I mentioned before. Electro Harmonics Wiggler. This is a great tremolo but also a vibrato pedal. It's got two cool little valves in there as well. Um, the Red Repeat, which is a really nice delay. Very sort of old school sounding. It's definitely analog sounding. I think the jury's out as to how true an analog it is. Um, the, the Marshall Reflector, which um, is a pretty nice reverb pedal. Um, especially considering it's pretty inexpensive. I got the Octave Fuzz. This is the new Slash one. Um, I'm going to do a run through of some of these pedals in some other videos, but this is a really awesome pedal. Um, I'm not a you know a, a guy who runs out and buys um, signature anything. I don't know any signature stuff except for this. Um, the fact that it's Slash would not make me run out and buy it or even try it, but uh, the guy in the store that I go to recommended it, said try it, it's pretty awesome and it really is, I'm going to do a video on it and you can see how awesome it is so don't let the Slash put you off um, these two pedals over here are really really budget ones but they're really good um, they, they're both by Joyo which is a Chinese company and they're essentially cheap clones of classic pedal. You can probably take a guess what the vintage overdrive is being. Um, it's supposed to be modeled on an 808, the uh, Tube Screamer. The compressor, I forget exactly which model it's a clone of. It. I think it's a Ross compressor. But they, they're really really cheap and they sound really good. They probably won't last uh, a very long time. Uh, but they're really good value. I might do a um, a bit of a demo of these at some point so you can see because they're, they're really worth looking at. And over here, this is a new acquisition. It's the uh, Moen, I think we pronounce it, GEC9, which is an effects routing system. Um, basically it has um, nine loops here in the back so I can create a loop with one or more of these pedals in and then I can preset on here uh, which combinations of which pedals are assigned to which of the foot switches and there are 10 banks so I can actually have 10 sets what's cool about this is one of the there are nine loops potentially and one of them I'm using as a latch to switch the channel on my amplifier which is the orange dual terror over here which is my main gigging amp um, so I'm also going to do a demo of this but I don't suppose there's a lot of point doing it till everything's connected up and then you can see how it works 
Um, yeah, so I'm in the early stages yet. I've got the pedal train three. I've got my switching system. I've got most of my pedals. I've got one on the way, which is a clone being built by a guy called John Green, who's building me a Fuzzmite clone. Uh, Mosrite, Fuzzrite, Fuzzrite, sorry. The clone is called the Fuzzmite. And that's going to arrive any day now. I'm really looking forward to that. That's the a clone of the pedal that's used on a lot of the Morricone soundtracks, particularly the Western, so that's going to be pretty, pretty awesome. I'm getting it particularly for a project that I'm working on. Whether it's going to be the right pedal to be on my gigging board, I'm not sure. We'll have to see. We'll have to make room for it. I'm still waiting on my Voodoo Lab um, sort of power supply, so I can't actually connect everything up as it would be, but I'm going to show you sort of videos in stages as we go building this little pedal board and I think it's going to be pretty cool when it's done. I think what I'm going to do is sort of hardwire it so we're going to have an input around here so rather than plugging into a pedal we're going to go straight into all the pedals will come to this input here and obviously an output over the other side and I think I'm going to take and put another jack in here um, to take my mono jack to, for the latch for the channel switch from here. That's the plan at the minute. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be really cool. Um, just out of interest, if anybody wants to know, it's I got the uh, soft case version. There we go pedal train. Um, I'm not really jet setting all over the place with this rig in terms of flying so I didn't bother with the flight case. I'm sure I could buy one if I ever need one. Okay, let's see what happens when we get a little bit further on.